<sighs> now, Kevin Eldon, you're uh, yeah, <laughs> you're a face that um, not, not just not, a face, am well, I? No, more than a face. You're, like, your whole body and face yeah. is no one that's watched lots of British comedy in the last twenty years could fail to recognise it. But it's only in the last couple of years, well, in the last year really, you've started doing your own act again. Yeah. Why is that? It was only laziness that was uh, stopping me. I was a lazy, vain, arrogant man <laughs> just lying around at home on cushions, thinking <laughs> I'll just do the same 15 minutes for the rest of my life. And then doing like bits of acting and things, and then you then know, doing some going acting back to that. and speaking in um, in stupid voices. What would it be like uh, if? Uh... The failed right-wing dictator, uh, Adolf Hitler, um, had the voice of the Beatles producer, George Martin. <laughs> and I think it would go something like this. Ah! 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 <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, no, it's this one. <laughs> so, it was uh, early 38, and uh, me and the boys uh, walked into Austria, filled as brass, and uh, I immediately knew we were onto something big. Uh, because we got a terrific reaction from the Austrians, uh, and quite frankly, they were cock-a-hoop. So I immediately called uh, an emergency meeting of the German High Command, and I said, well, congratulations, boys, looks like we got ourselves a smash hit. <laughs> now, can anyone think uh, of a snappy title for the enforced annexation of a foreign nation? And Heinrich Himmler, who was always ready with a cheeky quip, <laughs> He immediately said, well, mein Führer, how about die Anschluss? And we all fell about laughing, and the name stuck. <laughs> and, uh, heil me. And, uh, the rest, of course, is history. And, uh, that was what became known as, uh, the German invasion. Uh, and within 18 months, we were number one in most countries in Europe. Uh, <laughs> Poland, Czechoslovakia, France, they liked us a lot there. Uh, and we never really cracked the British market, but there you go. Do you think it would work if you had Hitler talking about how he produced uh, Sergeant Peppers. No, was it actually the other way around? No, because I think it wouldn't work. It's an interesting idea, and thank you for raising it. But you'd uh, you would then have uh, just a man shouting quite loudly <laughs> and in a, in a bad temper, and that would uh, pull very quickly, I think, because <laughs> yeah, it was only on four tracks, four tracks, and the name of that for uh, being for the benefit of Mr. Kite. He cut up many pieces of tape and threw them in juxtaposition. See, it doesn't work. It just gets, it's just <laughs> annoying. Do you think it would be fun? I think that next year, in your next stand-up show, yeah. you should do all the things that you've done before, but just change them. So instead of it being George Martin talking about conquering Europe, it should be Hitler, Hitler talking about... Um, yeah. But then get everything and do it. There was something <laughs> about the personalities I found attractive. <laughs> But the fact <laughs> that they were so well versed musically. <laughs> yeah, it's rubbish. Oh, it's just well, well, what else could you flip it just, man? You that's, got... that's caused 20 people to turn <laughs> off. That's half of the audience. Of it's this on the red button extras. Uh, I'd like to do a song now, which is called The Song of the Musical Format. Uh, open brackets. My CDs jump. Close brackets. And it goes like this <laughs> My CDs jump. My CDs jump. My CDs jump. My CDs jump, my CDs jump, my CDs jump, my CDs jump, my CDs jump. Vinyl's good enough if there's no fluff. <laughs> but my CDs jump, my CDs. <laughs> my CDs jump, my CDs jump. My CDs jump. My CDs jump. My CDs jump. iPods, yes, please. As long as they don't freak. <laughs> Somebody could come up here and push my nose and my belly button at the same time. And... My CDs. What were you doing in, 
in between punk, in the, the punk days of being a punk, and then being an alternative comedian in 1990. <laughs> I, was the, I was never a punk. You were in the punk, I wasn't, from the I wasn't punk a punk days. Punk. Was, You're the was, most punk we bloke I've ever met. Am I? Yeah. Right, just because... I don't know, you just, just got, got a face headline. on you, punk face. I've got a, what's a punk face? You've got a punk face. Yeah, got, if I've got a punk, punk face, you've got a punk face. I've got more punk face than I've got a punk face. You've got a punk face from the 1970s. You've got the more punk face out of us. Oh, You say I've got a 1970s face. But anyway, can I just say, I was never a punk. What I was was a weedy, new wave person, which is much which is much worse, because we never did all the... Um, we rehearsed and yeah. we had backing harmonies mm. and things like that and we would do more than one take right. and that wasn't the spirit of punk at all and also we were wearing flares until November 1978 yeah that's pathetic but now but now you're able to play you're, you're, you're still playing on stage you're using music on stage in the comedy act now yeah is that is that feel that it's I haven't moved on no I didn't mean that I mean is it not well, you implied it <laughs> Du poids. Eh, C'est bon être ici et je commence par dire je ne parle pas anglais. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que vous allez faire? <laughs> je ne parle pas anglais. <laughs> eh? Pourquoi? Parce que quand quelqu'un parle anglais, dans ma tête, c'est comme ça. I said, I do not to eat chips when you moon it. Comme ça. Alors, je ne parle pas anglais? But I do speak Scottish. <laughs> oh, hey. See, you power here. Tell you looking at, are you looking for the punch in the gaggy? Eh? <laughs> With the punch, uh, that Jenny McAllister, I wouldn't mind giving her a square go. <laughs> hey, you, hey, he's a white pudding supper and a can of Iron Brew. Hey. qui s'appelle Je cherche la femme 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 Où est la femme Je cherche la femme Je cherche la femme Je cherche dans la bibliothèque Où est vous Mais on n'était pas là Je cherche dans la discothèque Mais la trouver, mais la trouver Je cherche la femme, je cherche la femme. Où êtes-vous, madame, moiselle? Je cherche la femme. Ce Claude Van Damme, il a beaucoup de femmes. Je désire une femme, je cherche la femme. Je cherche dans le Louvre, une dame me disait, voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Mais elle était plus âgée que la Mona Lisa, comme la Vina de Milo. Elle n'avait pas de bras, elle n'était pas tout là. Je me disais, où oh est là? Je cherche la femme. Je cherche la femme. Je cherche la femme. C'est peut-être Suzanne. C'est peut-être Karine. C'est peut-être Lariane. Je cherche la femme. Merci et au revoir. 